the wink to the camera. I just can't believe we didn't. It's one. Three sixty just a circle. <laughs> yeah, three sixty. We're just <laughs> spinning around. <laughs> He'll be happy to hear that. Hi guys, I'm Harry. And I'm Molly. And we're here filming with Digital Spy. <laughs> How would you? Describe I was it? stressing as well. I mean, like, I don't know why, but obviously. People like forgive you, like Molly. Luckily, forgave me and stuff. But they had so long to sort of come to terms with what had happened and mm. stuff. But obviously, watching it, we don't know what the final was going to look like. And yeah. Watching it, I was scared that some emotions would come back and I'd be running for my life straight out of the place. <laughs> yeah, no, it's emotional to watch back though, right? Yeah. It kind of takes you back to that moment. But um, I think the first time we saw each other after the final, like. I think it was great because we saw each other quite yeah. soon after. Like I'd managed to speak to my family and my boyfriend at that point, um, which kind of sucked me back into the real world a little bit and reminded me it was just a game. And yeah, I mean, there was always a chance. Well, I didn't ever think I was going to win anyway. So yeah, it was we were fine. Yeah, I never I never got a chance to see Jazz. I didn't get end. a chance to see Jazz after the final. Um, but as soon as we got our phones back, we were all in contact. So yeah. I actually think the round table room's haunted anyway, yeah, especially literally. that last round table. And like the fire, I was so it's hot. Already, it's like, already stressful before you even get in there. I was having a hot flush, yeah. I was stressed, like the emotion was just so intense, yeah. it was crazy. And also like the hardest thing is, is like no one actually truly knows what they want to do because you can never be 100% on something when you you don't know the unknown. Obviously, it's a bit easier when you're a traitor, I guess, because you know I, you did know the unknown. You, you know everyone's roles, but obviously, especially like a fateful, it must be so hard to actually know because you never know if you're going to get out of fateful or you're going to ruin your friend, like, you know? So like, yeah, it was hard. For you, it was hard. <laughs> it, was hard. it was so hard. You kind of see how much it was affecting you and Claudia gave you that big hug and she was really kind of comforting. Like, did you find her presence there kind of quite supportive? Yeah, 100%. Uh, it's weird because it's done like a full one, like, 360, I guess, when it turns around, 360 or 180. But is it 180 or 360? Yeah, 180. 180. It's 180. 360 just a circle. Yeah, 360 <laughs> just spinning around. So it does, so free, yeah, okay, so it's. <laughs> <laughs> so I missed that out, it's obviously not 360 because that's the same thing, but it done a 180 as in like I was so scared and nervous of Claudia at the start because she's such a powerful woman mm, and like sort of she? brings the game and like the, the sort of emotions that like she she puts, you, like she indulges herself into the game which makes you even more involved. And I think um, when she first walked out the castle, yeah. like I think we were all just like so Shot. starstruck yeah, by yeah. her, we were like Claudia, yeah, it's but amazing. Um, she's such a lovely woman, yeah, like but then so nice. For me, at the end, it sort of tur turned around where it did the 180, and it was like she sort of was like my comfort because she knows that I, she's chosen me to do this job, so it made me feel a lot more like comf comfortable in that situation. I think the craziest thing watching the show back is seeing Diane and Ross yeah. to me. Like, yeah. I think like seeing how he was like taking the mick out of a roast dinner, like. Well, the wink to the camera. I just can't believe we didn't. Put like, how did he not it. call her mum? Like, I could I not have done that. Like, I was just like, you would never have saw me doing that with my mum because I would, I wouldn't have been able to not call her mum. Or no. if someone was going for her, I would have stood up and like, started giving it to them back. And like, how he sat there and sort of just watched people accuse her was mental. They were such a great pair as well. Like, yeah. I think watching and it, it worked back, so, so well because of her accent. It threw everyone yeah, off. So yeah, like, no one ever really suspected it because. Like, why couldn't they be son and daughter? Because son, uh, and, son daughter. and daughter. <laughs> son. Oh why couldn't they be like mum, mum and son? Because they had a different accent. But of course they could. But just no one's just sort of put it together. And I think like as soon as we found out, and I used to look at the photos at breakfast when they're all up on the wall, they look exactly the same. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know how we didn't realise. Especially it. when he takes his glasses off, yeah. they look exactly yeah. the same. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, straight away. The support of like a little family was amazing and it was mm. we was all straight into a group chat wasn't it and it's yeah. just like supporting each other i think coming out as well like you feel so strange because you've had this crazy experience and you can't tell anyone mm. so having that group chat was like super important because they all knew exactly like what we'd been through and yeah. like yeah that was really really nice to have them there um, I'm gonna come back on the All Stars as like the biggest villain of the really? show ever. I yeah, I am. <laughs> like, I will literally be murdering everyone. Like, heartless. Like a bitch. <laughs> heartless. Don't ask me. Heartless I'll something. Give you 
Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Do you know what? Because I feel like if there was an All Stars one and I went on it, no one believed me anything I say. So even if I went on it and I was a faithful, it'd be so hard for me to persuade people that I'm a faithful. You'd be banished. Because, like, yeah, sorry. I, like, You're all getting banished. Yeah, just, like, either way, that just to I make reckon sure. people would just, yeah, just banish me either way. But I would love to do it and sort of see if, like, uh, it would just be so cool and sort of see if I can do the double and sort of double bluff the bluff the bluffer and then be a traitor again and sort well, of see if I can do I it again. I wouldn't believe you. Let's just say that much. I will, much. I will not be believing that. <laughs> yeah, I know. This holiday <laughs> thing has been taken so out of hand. Like, we had a joke about it, but Harry doesn't owe me anything. Nah, yeah, but 100% I feel like Molly deserves the world as well and that's why I want to work so hard this year and sort of help Molly out as well in anything I can and sort of earn my own money as like the hard working money I've owned and then I'm definitely going to treat her in some way and her amazing boyfriend too. Thanks. He'll be happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs>